Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, we had just made it into the lower city after tricking a Sith guard and, uh, ransacking a few more apartments, because that's kind of what we do in Taurus, because I'm pretty sure that should be leading to you know dark side points but it isn't oh well anyway they let us take it so we did it um we got a uniform from a sith captain or commander or some high-ranking motherfucker uh took his stuff and then we went on with that so now we're down here yay okay so forward to go and oh um okay Becks are nothing but panther fodder. The Volcars are the strongest. I had lowered man. We'll teach you who's strongest. Um, the Rodian, who is generally known as the cannon fodder of Star Wars, is saying, oh, we'll teach you who's strongest. Yeah, about that. <laughs> More strangers. Okay, well, I remember a previous file when I was still wearing the Sith armor. Um, this was like back when I first tried to play the game and then found I couldn't because I was so used to the second one that it was jarring for me to try and play the first one. That uh, if you're wearing the Sith armor, they have a different sort of reaction to you coming down there because they still hate the sith patrols but they have a vastly different line for that <laughs> so okay that's a thing um i should do a flurry yes i know how to do that i don't know why the game keeps telling me things i already know yeesh okay um call that good oh sh okay only one attack, then. Alrighty. Whatever you say. Alright. And that should be good. Okay, well, the, all of those missed. That sucks. Okay, well, you're dead. You're dead. Why do I even bother with Flurry? Normal attacks are killing y'all just fine. Also, how did Karth end up getting more damage than me? How does that work? Volker shock stick. Is that what I picked up? Is that what I remember picking up? I can show the new items, which is always nice. Um, Volkar shock stick. Okay. Physical damage 2 to 5. That's a very small range. Uh, small range of critical. Stun. Okay. That's probably what it's intended for. A favorite weapon of the Volkers. This modified stun baton is designed more for the purpose of inflicting pain than actually incapacitating an opponent. The high-density cells needed for repeated discharge are unwieldy, making it unusable in the offhand, so you'd have to use it in one hand and one hand only. That sucks. We're not going to do that. Um, Karth is very badly hurt right now. Uh, still a little baffled as to how he got that hurt. But hey, lower city apartments. Maybe there's more stuff we can get out of these. Oh my gods. The immediate first thing is fucking blaster bolt holes in the walls. And flooring falling apart. It's probably uh, not the best sign. Oh. Hi there. I am... Um, I think uh, I need to hit, hurt you. That's a noise. Yeesh. I don't even need to do anything. I don't even need to use any feats. I just let the attack do the work. And I just blow through them. Jeez. That's crazy. Okay, hi there. There was just the one. <laughs> just the one motherfucker in here. Okay, Foot Locker. Can I go into that little thing over there? Maybe after I'm done with this. 
Uh, no. Nothing there. Alright, well. I'm starting to get the feeling I shouldn't bother with feats because I'm just killing them with my normal strikes anyway. <laughs> They're not even hitting me. That's got to be a bug. This game is going to crash in the next five seconds because that... There's no way I'm getting so lucky that they're not hitting me every single time. There's no way. There's no way. The game is going to crash on me. Either that or my recording software is. And here's hoping that Tom's Law make that <laughs> makes that not happen. Uh, now, if only I could speak proper English. That would be great. Well, you're dead. Hi there, you're dead now too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for dying. Okay, I'm, I keep trying to see if there's remains after I kill them, but no. No. Apparently, this is just... This is just Volker Gang Central. Okay. Well, you blew through the shield. Thank you, Doug. Okay, let's actually try a different technique. Never mind. Didn't have to. <laughs> Didn't have to because the normal attacks finally did it for me. Okay. What do we got off of you? A heavy blaster, a Volker shock stick, and that's it. Okay, well, now we have a heavy blaster. Oh, Karth, you're in the way. Alright, med packs. Woo! Alright. Oops, that's not what I meant to press. I meant to hit this button. Okay, we're at level three. There's a certain point in the game where you should stop taking the level ups even though you have them. At least for your main guy. Now, the reason for that is something I won't be mentioning right now. Even though this game is near on a decade and a half old and there is plenty of people who already know. I won't be mentioning it for the few people who don't know. Even though there's maybe like three of you who watch my content. <laughs> if there is any that don't know at all. So. There we go. Uh, where should I put the point? Where should I put this point? Okay, so the point cost remains the same after I try to extend it past 14. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, I should put it into strength a little bit, considering that's my main focus. But on the same hand, I kind of want to extend my force points a little bit more. Which is what wisdom will do. And charisma, I don't really need to put all that many points into. Uh, I'll put it into strength. I'll just put it into strength for now. Alright. Um, that's not what I meant to do. There and there. Um, can't put anything into Persuade, so, um, should I put it into Awareness, or should I put it into Computer Use? Huh. Computer Use, I would end up using more, so, yeah, let's put it into Computer Use. Hey, there's Implant Level 2. An uncanny dodge. Alright. Uh, just blow through all the new stuff I have so that stops showing me stuff I already see. Damn it! It's still doing it. Fucking. Damn it. All items. There we go. Cool. Um. Wanted to double check feats for a second. But it will only show me the ones I have, so there's no real point to me doing this. Um, 
Level four is we're implant level two and uncanny dodge come into place. Um, for the classes that you start out with, there are specific feats that you won't be able to get should you jump over to another thing later on. Um, that said, um, some of the scout ones are pretty good, and this in particular can be useful, uh, especially if you have your constitution already at 14, because most of the decent implants will be around that level. Uh, implant level 3 um, is when you get to a certain other level. I think it's 8 for scouts where you get that one but maybe not maybe i'm wrong and uh that one you very rarely run into those implants uh and while they're very good when you do uh it's not worth uh shorting yourself on the levels for the other class because if i recall correctly you only have a maximum of 20 that you're allowed to get to in this game. So, um, you're better off doing it a 5-15 split. At least that's what I've heard, and that's what I've read. Uh, personally, my first file, I didn't do that. <laughs> and, uh, while I was relatively okay in the gameplay aspect, at the same time, it was, um underwhelming how uh, how many skills I ended up getting near the uh, end game so especially considering that I did hit the max level of scout and then it didn't pan out for me <laughs> so there was no real point so yeah I'm just gonna do level 5 level 5 is at least put you at a power level that will allow you to complete most of the stuff in Taurus. Oh boy, this puzzle. Oh dear. Okay. Um. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Gilthos. Sorry I couldn't be there with you, but here's the package I promised. Remember, activate the holographic security system in the proper order to open it, or boom. Boom. Just activate the holograms in the same order that they've joined the band. Since you're the Twisted Rancor Trio's manager, you should be able to figure out the code. Um, okay. I still think this is a mistake. Davik won't be happy if Ashana can't fill in for her sister. And you don't want to get Davik mad, or you might never come out of that estate again. Anyway, good luck, and if this works, think about what a great chapter it'll make in that biography of the band you've been working on. Yeah! Sure! Uh, desk. Twisted Rancor Trio. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to read that to be able to complete this. Um, it's not... Oh, sorry. The story thing is in this sidebar here. Okay. Okay. The brains behind the group manager Gilthos Uxaris founded the trio to earn a date with the young sister named Elinda. The ploy worked, and Alinda became the first member of the band. Okay, so this is the important stuff, because the passcode apparently is the order in which they joined the band. So, Alinda is the first one. Gilthos scrambled to find musicians to back her, and signed a bith named Uja. Okay, Uja is next. To be the lead musician. Soon after that, he signed Uja's brother Uji to complete the trio. Uja and Uji, okay. Alrighty. The band struggled at first. Elinda was a fantastic singer, but Uja wasn't much of a musician. Oh, jeez. When Elinda threatened to quit, Gilthos fired Uja and signed another bith named Lupa. Okay. Of course, this didn't go over well with Uja's brother, and Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa knew another musician named Photo, who joined to replace Uji. Led by Elinda singing the second incarnation of the Twisted Rancor 
trio became quite popular on their home world of Tars, eventually attracting the attention of local legitimate businessman Dave Davik Kang. Yeah, legitimate is not a word I would associate with Davik from the sound of things. Jeez. Davik asked Gilthos to bring his group in for a command performance. Gilthos agrees, realizing this could be the band's big break. Unfortunately, Elinda had heard certain obstantiated rumors about Davik Kang and his connections to the exchange. Yeah, unsubstantiated. Yeah, right. Fearing for her life, she refused to go to the, his estate to perform. Many felt that without Elinda singing, the band would crumble. But Gilthos came up with a brilliant plan to save the group by hiring Elinda's sister, Ashana, as a new singer, a new lead singer, on the eve of their scheduled appearance at Davik's estate. Gilthos knew that he was taking a risk. If Ashana couldn't perform at Elinda's level, Davik's infamous temper could have dire consequences for the band. However, if Ashana could match her sister's performance, then Davik was likely to sign the band to a big-time con touring contract. Ugh. I can't talk anymore. <laughs> it was a risk, but the Twisted Rancor trio was founded on guts and glory. There are no further entries. Okay. So, if I remember correctly, which I should, because I'm usually good at this, Elinda was first. Then Ucha. And the next one was Uji, the brother of Uja. Then, because Uja wasn't too good, they hired on Lupa. And Uji got pissy about that. So then Lupa recommended Photo. And now that Elinda doesn't want to be anywhere near Davik, I wonder why they had to hire on Ashana. And Booyah. And what do we got? Ooh, Uchani Fiber Armor. That sounds cool, and I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay. Uh, huh. Oh! It's a higher defense bonus, and it's upgradable. Many elite Ichani duelists use armor of this type, though its adaptability has made it popular with professional soldiers and bounty hunters alike. Cool. Alright. Let's wear that and give Karth that. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, yes. cool, cool. Alright. Let us get moving. Get out of here. Eventually. Low security door. Ha ha. Ha ha On it. Hey, you can't come in here. This is a private apartment. The rest of these have not been private. And also full of black Volkers. So, I mean, I can assume you're a black Volker or that you're just really pissy about squatting in a place that's clearly abandoned. What are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. None of your business. Just turn around and go back the way you came, if you know what's good for you. Are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? I... I guess I could tell you. You'll probably find out on your own eventually anyway. Zax is giving his bounties away like candy or so I hear. My name's Matrick. I used to work for the exchange, but all the violence and killing started to get to me. I knew that what I was doing was wrong, so I turned state's evidence. Oh, what? Um, that sentence is a little goofy. Okay. My testimony helped put some of the biggest criminals on Taurus away for life, but Davik didn't like seeing his friends go down, so now he's got a bounty on my head. Maybe there's some way I could help you out of this mess. I don't think there's much anyone can do, and I'm getting sick of running. I've decided to make my stand right here. Maybe you could turn the tables, you know. Have Davik eliminated. Getting inside Davik's space is nearly impossible. Even if I got rid of him, the exchange would just appoint someone to his place and I'd still have a price in my head. Maybe you could fake your own death. I've already thought of that. I even came up with a plan on how to do it. But I can't pull it off while I'm holed up in here. 
Tell me your plan and I might help you out. The trick is getting Davik to buy it when there's no body found at the scene. If it looks like I died in a massive explosion, he won't be suspicious when my corpse never turns up. If I had an accomplice go back and tell Davik that they were the one who set the explosion off to eliminate me, I think I'd be home free. I have some devilishions experience from my old days in the exchange, so I could set it all up, but I need someone to get my hands on a permacrete detonator. I could get you one. They don't usually sell them in stores here in the lower city, but the upper city might carry them. You might want to look there first. Absolutely. abso fucking -lutely. I know exactly where to go to do that. I know exactly where to go for that. And there we go. Upper City North. Is he going to get pissy that it come out without armor? No, he doesn't really care. Oh. oh. But he'll, he'll shut the it. Elevator is off limit. It's okay. Obvious from the way okay. Move well. Along, then. All right. Kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Okay. Well, I'll get to that. I already have the disguise. I was just I was surprised that he shut it and didn't really make a fuss that I came out of it. Something seems to be bothering Karth again. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. Okay. Give me a moment because I'm gonna need my coffee for this one. All right, Karth, let's hear it. Let's hear it and yes, see what you want. Mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Well, I mean, it's something that you're probably not going to like. I want to talk about these issues you seem to have with me. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try and explain. Okay. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Okay. I mean, thank you for the compliments that I'm apparently an elite commando. But, um... I'm not sure why that means that you're going to be suspicious of me. You're not built that way. That sounds like an excuse. That sounds like an excuse. There we go. I can talk. Really, I can. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. That, well, it just won't happen again, that's all. So you want some guarantee that I won't betray you? I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> right, and how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? <laughs> no, I do take it personally. Nah, nah. I'm beginning to wonder if you're even capable of trusting anyone. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. Okay. I don't need someone around who doesn't trust me. And I don't need all these questions. What I do need is to try and save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. <sighs> okay, Karth, fine. We'll get to it later. Right now, though, you are pissing me off. Just be aware of that. Alrighty. Let's go back to the shop. Uh, I forget her name. Damn it. <laughs> it's been so long since we visited that shop. I don't remember her name. Ah, well. It'll come to me eventually. Probably when I'm right in front of her shop. Okay. I'm pretty sure her shop's this way. I think. Yeah, it should be right over there. Okay, cool. I was right. Yay! What? Equipment Emporium. Okay. I was having the name Yurt pop in my head, and I wasn't sure if that was it. K. 
Kebla Yurt. Welcome okay. to the Equipment Emporium. Yeah. Because of the Sith quarantine. Let's get that permacrete thing I remember seeing you have. There we go. And it only costs 50. Oh, that's great. That's beautiful. I could sell some of my other stuff that I don't need. Like, uh... Oh, this doesn't have any value whatsoever. Um... Well, in that case... Uh... Yeah, sure. It's great. Might as well still sell it. These I ain't gonna use. But then again... No, I ain't gonna use them. Yeah, screw it. The blaster rifle... I only need one, honestly. Uh, blaster pistol. Eh. Don't need all of them. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. That should do it for that. Alrighty. Let's head back. But first, I should probably... I keep hitting the wrong stupid button. I keep hitting the wrong stupid button. <sighs> you know what? I'll just walk my ass all the way over there first. Then I'll come back, get Karth all healed up, and then uh, head down to the lower city. Ooh, jeez. Trying to crack my back, and then it ends up making me burpy. How that works, I have no idea. I wasn't even pushing on a direction, <laughs> and then when I started going forward... Ah, uh, that made my character turn, I guess. Alright. That's a little weird, but okay. Alright. I wonder, if I'm wearing the Sith armor, will that make this guy react differently? Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free okay. to stay if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. Listen to me, So that people. does the change the interaction. So he's gotten the go-ahead from the Sith to be pushing that sort of bigoted, racist shit. Okay. Makes sense, it's the Sith. All right. Now we continue on. Oh, I should probably take this off. There we go. Lower city apartments. Nice. And then permacrete detonator guys over here. Hey there. I was afraid you wouldn't come back. Did you manage to find a permacrete detonator? I did. But it'll cost you. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I think it's time for me to collect your bounty. Okay, no, let's not do that. Let's not be the asshole. We're the good guy today. Well, this particular game. Uh, go on, take it. Let me see. Yes, this should do the trick. There won't be anything left of this apartment but some scorching on the walls after I set this bad boy off. Alrighty. Doesn't look like you put anything down. Oh, you're putting, like, little small explosives. Okay, the timer's set. Now let's get out of here before it blows. And... Okay, that seemed a little lackluster. That was quite the blast. No, it wasn't. Don't go back in there. The whole roof might cave in at any moment. Look, I'm not a man for long goodbyes, but I want to say thanks. If it wasn't for you, I'd be a dead man. But now I won't have to worry about any more bounty hunters coming after me. So good luck and goodbye. Now that I'm dead, I can't be seen wandering the streets. Yeah, you're right. Yay! Light side points. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess that's a way to keep me out. Oh, did I ever get that? Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Man. Uh. 
I'm gonna double check if I ever got that, and if I didn't, I'm gonna <laughs> reload the file and do it all over again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, let's uh, end the episode here for right now, shall we? <laughs> I'm not gonna save scum, and that's that's shitty. If if I lost it, I lost it. It's whatever. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and, uh, well, wandering around the un the uh, lower city, rather. Uh, we're not in the undercity yet, but we're dealing with Black Volkers and helping a guy get out of his bounty. Because that keeps being a thing we run into uh people with bounties on their heads he really is giving them out like candy for you <laughs>